Hello everybody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. We're jumping in. I'm going to play Gunslinger this time around. I don't actually know if he's going to work with the all modded thing that we're going to be doing today. But well, I said today for the rest of quite a while. But either way, I'm going to jump on in. Let's go. Let's see how see how this goes down. See what happens. And yeah, we'll just have a good old run. Hopefully some of the issues with some of the modded guns have been fixed. I tweaked my mods. I've reinstalled a few if not, I'm going to have to do some deeper digging, uh, and I'll probably, if I find any guns for this episode, I'll send my uh, debug log over to Nevernim, because he said he can, uh, my output log even, because he said he can uh, help with fixing a few of those things. But let's just jump in and see what we can get done. I've been kind of um, putting off playing Gungeon, uh, recording Gungeon a little bit recently, but then I kind of remembered, wait a minute, I've got, I've got this all modded command thing that I'm doing at the minute. This is like the perfect time to play. There's so much new stuff to see. I'm using an updated version of Nevernim's mod. It's like, this is prime. Really? You're going to spawn that on top of me, you little, you little bitch? This is prime, prime time. How are you firing that at such a bizarre angle? Oh my good golly gosh. This room has been a travesty. This room has been a travesty. But luckily, Gunslinger's starter pistol. We get to stun things. It has good fire rate. It good, does good damage. I'm pretty pretty happy with it generally. Really? Okay, then. We are taking some Moibien, very, very spicy, not so nicey damage that I do not want. Anyways, let's roll on. Carry on. Roll out. Let's see what we can get done. Ooh, extra Glonstone. Would have much preferred some HP, but I'll take it. Okay, sure. Try and avoid the bandana dude shooting as long as we can, because they kill me quite a lot. I always forget about these new enemies. They're very, very cool. But I always forget they exist. Hello, little eye. Thank you for dying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This room's a bit saucy. This room is a bit saucy, isn't it? Right, there you go. Let's continue forward. Open that up. That ain't no modded item. Um, so that's a... Uh, that's bizarre, but then again, it does only greatly increase the chance of modded items. It doesn't guarantee them, so there is still a small chance to get regular items. And honestly, it's a pretty good regular item, so I'm not I'm not gonna complain all that much. I'm not gonna complain all that much. Right. Should be fine against this guy for now. I mean we've got really good cover against him, and like I said, our pistol's actually really strong, so we can kill him relatively easily. I can't believe how many times we've had this damn Apache room. <laughs> I just keep coming across it now. I added it in as kind of a meme and it just keeps showing up. It's pretty funny. It's a pretty funny. Right. You, you guys stop. Okay. Oh my god. The AK fire. I always forget how fast those guys shoot. I often try to just make sure I kill those guys before they manage to shoot. But if they... They, they will shoot at you through walls. Like, they, they don't care. They will just start shooting at you as soon as they're in the room with you. <gasps> He's a champion. So he might be harder to kill. But... He still gives a key. He's still worth the chase. Did you need to go? Oh, yes. We just stunned the ghost, which is perfect. Means he gives us extra time to finish him off. Also, as well, because this is a revolver, you do get extra fire rate after a roll. So, worth noting. I mean, it's not a massive boost, but it's kind of worth considering. Oh, my God. The stuns. The stuns right now are so nice. I'm loving them. Oh, look at the stuns. Boy. This is the best. What a great room. Sadly, champion, uh, champion key bulletkin. Don't give anything extra. Okay, let's let's just play this room kind of like a koi fuck. And make sure we don't get killed. Hey, there's some HP. There's the the sweet sauce that I'm looking for. Rather long haul weather, and a buck boy that does not get chance to shoot. Black chest weapon. What on earth is this thing? And. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, this is beautiful, but it's unfortunately broken. I'm super upset because this thing looks awesome. Woo! I really need to figure out what's going on with that. Like, so, essentially, I mean, it's good that we came across a broken thing because uh, we kind of needed to so that I can actually figure out what, what's causing this. It definitely seems to be some, some weird issue with hard mode. But it's super upsetting to see that not only did this, is this an S-tier gun, not only does it work with Gunslinger, which I wasn't actually expecting, but on top of all of that, it's just, yeah, this, this thing looks awesome. I'm trying to blank here. I know that's a really big waste of a blank, but it's going to save my life. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit upsetting, and 
I really got to look into these issues because that gun looks like it could have potentially been very, very cool. Uh, what you got for us? Finger bang. Bang, bang, bang. You got the finger bang gun. Oh my god. Guys, please stop, please stop. There's too many of you. Oh my goodness. This guy's glitched and he's got a judge. Ooh. <laughs> I kind of just love doing this. Ooh. It's beautiful. It's definitely going to... What on earth is it left on the floor this time? What the hell? It's definitely probably bugged the hell out of my game by doing that, but oh well. What up, Gull? Gull v. Pistol. The ultimate showdown. The ultimate showdown. Oh, that was a very bad move on my behalf there. Should be okay against Gull here. Pretty prepared for him. There's some of his attacks that can be a little more annoying. And we do have one blank less than normal going into the fight. Just play it safe. Stay back. Okay. Should be okay. And he's probably gonna just... Yeah, I was gonna say, he's not doing his thingy. Okay, definitely get behind this. Always forget it's four of those, not three. You'd expect it to be three, but it's not. This is like the perfect room for the hard mode version of Gatling Gull as well. You've got plenty of time to um, situate yourself. Okay, so it's rockets again. We should be fine for the rockets. Just get ready for the delayed explosions. Okay, we're good. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Okay, I got double hit. Okay, first hit definitely shouldn't happen. Second hit, my bad. That is tough, tough luck, unfortunately. Very upsetting to see. We did get Smiley's Revolver. Rather nice. We get the synergies for this thing as well. We hop on down to the next floor. Feeling pretty good. That, that first floor was good. I am genuinely very sad that some of these guns aren't working. I swear. And this goes out to pretty much every single modder that watches this. My fucking... Gu my gungeon is cursed. It's absolutely cursed. Because every single time... The, oh, are you kidding me? I thought I had more space. Every single time I install like a new mod or something cool, I, I'm always the only person that has issues. I'm like, I message the model like, hey, this thing's broken, it needs fixing. And they're like, no, it's not. <laughs> like everyone else has had no issues, it's just you. I'm like, for fuck's sake, why does my game hate me? Why can't I just have a game that works? And it's like, the, the, the funky thing is, uh, like I was like, okay, fair enough. I'm having like lots of issues. Let's completely uninstall Gungeon and reinstall everything. And I did that, and it still don't heckin' work. It's just upsetting at this point. It's just upsetting. Like, I just want to have a good time. Look at this beautiful bastard. Polarity. I want to use this big old beefy gun. It looks awesome. But the game, she says no. She says no. Ooh, that's a that's a not the enemy I was expecting to see. Oh my fucking life. Oh no, that's definitely oh that's two times not the enemy I expected to see. Really? At least I had a blank. Makes this a little easier. I do not like you being back up. Back up and at him. Oh hello. What in the fuck is this? What on earth? is this. This is awesome. Okay, this has to be so, um, some bunny that's done this. I fucking love this. This is the best. This is so well done. Holy shit, I love this. Oh shit, wrong gun. Don't use that. It breaks everything. Oh, hello. This is the best. This is such a cool mini boss. I, th I always thought the game needed more mini bosses. Three just isn't really that much. Yeah, there's a few of these shots that are bouncy. Oh no, no, it's just the, the ones that are flashing break into more shots. 
I wonder what this is going to reward us with. Obviously, as you can tell, this isn't um, made for hard mode. This is made for normal. So it's significantly easier than most of the bosses and enemies we're coming across. But this is still really fucking cool. And even just the sprites are, like, real good. Real, real good. This is from Planet Side of the Gunyemedy, or Gun Gunyemedy, however you want to pronounce it. Um, yeah, it's, it's from that mod, and it's very cool. I'm just going to blank there, just for a bit of safety. We'll finish him off. That was really fucking cool. So, honestly, we we got a bunch of hegemony credits. Ah, we got a chest. Ooh, we got two chests. We got the test gun, and we got the smelter. Good stuff. The test gun also, very, very good for us right now. Test gun just try as random projectiles from every gun in the game. It's pretty awesome. Generally a very, very overpowered weapon. <laughs> what on earth was that? Was that a bit of cheese? I think it fires shots from modded guns as well, so we might see a few of those from time to time. What up, Tiger? What up, Tony the Tiger? Okay, them guys all decided to huddle around a barrel. What on earth is this? A clear sculpture. We also got... Oh, that's the test gun. Okay. <laughs> um, upon taking damage, um, gun dead are consumed by the floor beneath them. Do you know what? On hard mode, that seems fucking amazing. So I will take it in a heartbeat. Please die to the fire. Thank you. Makes our life a whole lot easier. I did I did take damage there, but it didn't do anything. Maybe maybe it has to be enemies that are close, or maybe it only affects the enemy that actually hit me. I'm not 100 percent sure. Right. Good stuff. For whom the bells toll. Get drilled. Kaboom. Right, we should go buy some HP. This is a run that actually has the possibility of being good. We should try to preserve that. What up, boss? We need a second key at the minute. Gun muncher. I love the portal gun. The test gun, should I say. That was pretty scary. I rolled the wrong way, then it somehow worked out. I hit you with a fish. What you gonna do? Oh, serious cannon. It's just great, because, like, most of the time it's going to shoot kind of piddly little shots that aren't going to be great. Then every now and again it's going to shoot a fantastic shot that does a fuck ton of damage. The dispenser, I think the pretty sure the dispenser's another one that's unfortunately broken, yeah. But this is good, though, because this means more for more to debug. Because there is a lot to debug. There is a, there is a lot of shit going on with my game right now. Right, Gunsnake bad, but we have a very good weapon for dealing with Gunsnake. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling I was going to get hit there. Oh my god. We don't have any more blanks and there's shots everywhere. Oh my god, we're going to die. Please don't kill me. I have so much to live for. Fuck you. God damn it. Why'd you have to do this to me, game? But that was that was really fucking cool that we got to see the uh, the room mimic. That's the first time I've seen that. I knew there was a few bosses in Gun Yemedy, and I hadn't seen a lot of them yet, and it's super cool to see one finally. I very much enjoyed that. Unfortunately, Gunsnake did get me. We will see how this goes from now on. Let's try it out. Oh, fuck! Nitro right at the door. Who's that knocking at my door? Who could it be now? And you're stunned. Which means you're dead. Oh, there's another one of you. Right, just leave you there. Let you do your thing. Somehow this guy manages to shoot around corners, like, real easy. 
Girth, you are gone. Bouncy boy. Whoa! <laughs> he actually kind of saved my life there. That girth was probably going to hit me, and he was like, Nope, I'll save you, Mr. President. Get down. I got this. Oh, hello. Not a terribly hard room. Just a little bit long is all. That was stupid. Shouldn't be getting hit by a basic old bulletkin. Do you know what? I'm just going to open it. Crystal heart. But I'm weak. I can't remember what this does. Uh, grants one heart container. Taking damage kills all enemies in the room. And um, this item will fully break after three hits. Okay. Actually, that's pretty good. So basically, when we take damage, we get a saving grace that cleans the room out. Um... But if we get hit three times, we lose the heart concern. I think that's fine. For a D tier item, it's very good. For hard mode, it's very, very good. Oh, are you kidding me? The game lagged a little bit and I rolled. I swear, that sounds like the biggest excuse in the world. But by now, you've got to know it's the truth. You've just got to know. Oh, you bastard. Crystal Heart is going down. Crystal Heart was not long for this world. Okay, got past him pretty easily, actually. And take you out. And you too, actually. Boom, boom. Got him. Okay. Oh, for God's sake, it's gone. But we got a chest as a reward for some reason. I'm not sure if that was tied to the fact that we just lost Crystal Heart or if that was just completely random chance. More likely that it was completely random chance. But it was just a uh, nice convenient timing, I'll say. Hello? A whole bulletkin. He's just chilling there. Up for purchase. We got ourselves the Citrine Amulet. Uh, creates a pool of fire. Gives fire immunity. Okay, fire immunity is pretty good. Honestly, on hard mode, there's quite a lot of enemies that produce fire. So, I can get behind that. Where the hell is our second item? Right. Oh, damn. Oh, you big old bitch. Oh, my God. I'm just getting hit all over the place right now. Why don't you stop? Why don't you stop? My god. But yes, um, in terms of like modding and everything, uh, currently I know that Nevernamed is like sort of really ha hard pushing for the release of his update. I know that Cells is getting closer and closer. I still think Cells is a little further away. Um, uh, or Sophia, should I say. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I know that they're getting closer, but they're not quite here. And I've realized, by the way, guys, I know that plenty of you watching by now Maybe thinking, oh, well, Gungeon's kind of dying off a little bit. Hard mode's maybe getting a little bit stale, sort of things like that. I have a plan in the works to sort of... Because I was kind of debating after this series, do I just stop Gungeon on my channel? Or do I uh, do I do something different with Gungeon? Oh, that was terrible. And I think I'm just going to try and do something different with Gungeon. Because the thing is... Oh, that was so bad. Um, the thing is, I... I think with Gungeon, of course, it's it's kind of it's kind of been gone at this point. Most people that are still watching, I, I'd at least think, are are either watching for the modded content because we're not doing modded, watching for hard mode, or just watching because it's me. And I'd, I'd say that they're, they're probably the three main reasons that people that you guys are probably still watching the uh, the Gungeon. That was terrible. The Gungeon series. If you're still watching the Gungeon series, um, I'd say that they're the big reasons. And I've kind of like. I'm trying to sort of think of the best way to um, to spice it up a little bit. And my next biggest idea, and I'm going to give full credit where it's due to Alexa for this idea, because I, I'm basically just using his idea for this, uh, but changing it up a, a, a little bit and using it on Gungeon rather than Isaac. But kind of doing like a, a, a wheel of, he, he calls it the wheel of Isaac, kind of doing a similar thing to that where we, uh, we have a wheel that we roll at the start of each run that determines how we play the game and essentially the wheel will have multiple things we'll have probably have three wheels in total one will be the randomized character which we actually have a shrine for so we don't need to have an actual visualized wheel for that but one of them will be the character the other one will be the game mode so that'll be uh playing um oh hello that'll be playing hard mode playing normal mode playing rainbow mode 
um, or playing blessed runs. That, that'll decide that. And then we'll have another one that's, uh, that decides the challenge. So we'll either do normal, no challenge, which I'll probably wait a little higher. Uh, then we'll have uh, all champions, we'll have all jammed, we'll have high curse, uh, and we'll have one hit, which is like playing as the shade. Um, and I think that could be pretty interesting. I think that could be pretty interesting. I don't know what you guys would feel about that. Would that do you think that for you guys out there would would uh, would spice up Gungeon and make it a little more enjoyable to watch? Uh, oh my god, I'm so dead. Um, do you think that would like bring bring a bit more life back to the Gungeon series? Because I know that at this point, honestly, I still enjoy playing it, and I know that there's quite a few people that still enjoy viewing it. Um, like especially if I get a cool modded item, which is what I'm trying to do at the minute with the extra modded stuff. Although, as we've seen this episode. It's kind of a bit of a disappointment at the minute because we keep having items that just don't work. And as I said before, that is not a fault on the item creator at all. It's probably a negative interaction between some of the mods I'm using. It's on my end, not the mod creator's end. Do not fault the mod creators at all. Um, but yes, um, like, do, what, what would you guys think about that? Would that would that like spice this series up enough for you, or, or like would there be anything else, any other requests that people would uh, would think that would really change it up a little bit because yeah i just i want to i want to keep playing hard mode but i want to also play normal mode a bit as well because hard mode's really fun and i'm re i've really been enjoying the challenge but the biggest downside and this is specifically a youtube problem it's a lot less of a problem if you're playing this casually in your own time what the fuck is that um gun printer infinite ammo what um, a small machine that prints and fires a bullet from the currently held gun free of charge. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? Um, I, I completely lost my train of thought from getting that item now. Uh, but yeah, so like, I th would, that, would that be something that would change it up enough? Because, oh, that was it. Like, I, um, hard mode, like... It's, it's, it's fine and normal for like people that aren't content creators, but as a YouTuber, it's kind of frustrating, even though I really enjoy it, that I very rarely get past the second or third floor. Because I think in terms of YouTube viewing, it makes it a lot less watchable when you're seeing the same the same enemies and the same floors over and over again. Um, especially when it's specifically the first floor. If I'm dying on the first floor, especially two or three times an episode, then it really makes it so that you're, um, you're seeing the same stuff pretty much over and over again. Um, haha. So I think that maybe maybe changing it up and throwing in some normal runs in there, but like high cares and different challenges and stuff like that, could could lend itself to be more interesting and hopefully bring a bit more life into this. Um, and at least that's kind of the idea. You have to give me some feedback on that and let me know what you guys think, because uh, because it'll be very very valuable to see. Yeah. I think this thing has the same stats as the Magnum, so it's pretty good. Okay. We should be okay here. No blank there, just in case. Unfortunately, we don't really have weapons that work very well with the bullet printer right now. The ammo printer is going to be good if you have, like... Imagine it with a fucking makeshift cannon. It'd be insane. Ah, oh, there, there goes that gun. Um, yeah, with, with makeshift cannon, it'd be so good. Good, good. Should be having him here. There you go. Yeah, it really, it really would be quite top tier, but with what we've got going at the minute, it's not so great, so... Wheel lock. Interesting. Not really seeing the benefit of this gun. Uh, classic precursor to the flint lock. Seems like just a basic old gun. Uh, it's only got 50 ammo, so I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's either pretty good or it's D tier. <laughs> one, of the, one or the other. Because so far, it seems like a worse dueling pistol, which is kind of hard to do. So let's let's see what the damage is like on this thing. Maybe maybe it's pretty good. Maybe it's pretty good. One, two. Got two shots from that guy. Three, four. Okay, this, this is pretty bad. Might be a little bit better against weak enemies, but... Against some of these bigger enemies, fuck me. It's, uh, it's, it ain't so hot. It just, it ain't it, Chief. Oh, my God. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything went so wrong. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. The hits this room, holy fuck, were 
Oh my god, it's still it's still going. But are directly caused by my nerves just spontaneously itching, and I was like, cool, I've got enough time to itch before that bullet that that um lobulon gets close to me. No no no, I do not. And it's still going. Oh my god, leave me alone, nurse. I'm trying to record a video. Oh hello, what is going on with this room? This is a spicy room. Oh my fucking life. Okay, we died. Okay, we'll leave it there for this episode, but yeah, please do let me know what you think of that idea, because as as you can kind of see, Gungeon with hard mode enabled is is kind of it's kind of run its course, I think. I think we've seen most of what we can see. There's still some some bosses that I haven't we got killed by the fodder. Uh, there's still some bosses that I haven't really gone to um, that I would very much like to, like the rat and stuff. So that's still stuff that I want to really get into um, at some point. But I, I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I think about that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.